Hello dear students, I hope you all are fine and doing great. Today with the second lecture of IELTS, I welcome you on the platform of Torch Bearer Institute. So let's start our video. Subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed yet so that you can get the notifications. IELTS writing test. Writing. The writing paper has two tasks which must both be completed. In task one, test takers write at least 150 words in about 20 minutes. In task two, test takers write at least 250 words in about 40 minutes. Test takers will be penalized if their answer is too short or does not relate to the topic. Answer should be written in full sentences. Test takers must not use notes or bullet points. IELTS writing test for of IELTS academic. Task 1. Test takers describe a graph, table, chart, map, process, pie chart, or diagram in their own words. Task 2. Test takers discuss a point of view, argument, or problem. Depending on the task, test takers may be required to present a solution to present a solution to a problem, present and justify an opinion, compare and contrast evidence, opinions and implications, and evaluate and challenge ideas, evidence or an argument. Next is IELTS writing test of general training. Task 1. Test takers write a letter in response to a given everyday situation. For example, writing to an accommodation officer about problems with your accommodation, writing to a new employer about problems managing your time, writing to a local newspaper about a plan to develop a local airport, IELTS writing test of general training task 2 in task 2 of general training test takers write an essay about a topic of general interest for example whether smoking should be banned in public places whether children's layer activities should be educational how environmental problems can be solved Next skill is IELTS speaking test. In this test, speaking skills are tested. IELTS speaking test. The speaking test is a face-to-face -face interview between the test taker and an examiner. These questions usually consist of two sets of four or five questions. The speaking test contains three sections. So, section one, introduction and interview. That is of four to five minutes. Test takers may be asked about their home, family, work, studies, hobbies, interests, reason for taking IELTS exam, as well as other general topics, such as clothing, free time, computers and the internet section 2 long term 3 to 4 minutes test takers are given a task a task card about a particular topic test takers have 1 minute to prepare to talk about this topic the task card states the points that should be included in the talk and one aspect of the topic which must be explained during the talk. Test takers 
are then expected to talk about the topic for one to two minutes, after which the examiner may ask one or two questions. So, what is in section three? Section three, discussions, four to five minutes. The third section involves a discussion between the examiner and the test taker, generally on questions relating to the theme which they have already spoken about in section two. Now, what is the procedure of scoring? Test taker receive a score for each test component, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. The individual scores are then averaged and rounded to produce an overall band score. The individual scores are then averaged and rounded to produce an overall band score. Band scale. There is no pass or fail. IELTS is scored on a nine band scale, with each band corresponding to a specified competence in English. Overall band scores are reported to the nearest half band. Rounding of marks. The following rounding convention applies. If the average across the four scales ends in 0.25, it is rounded up to the next half band and if it ends in 0.75 it is rounded up to the next whole band there are nine bands in IELTS how many bands in IELTS there are nine bands in IELTS the nine bands are described as follows ninth one expert users has full operational command of the language appropriate, accurate, and fluent with complete understanding. This is nine, band nine, and this is for expert users. Band eight, very good user, has fully operational command of the language with only occasional unsystematic inaccuracies and inappropriateness. Misunderstandings may occur in unfamiliar situations, handles complex detailed argument well. Band 7, this is for good users, has operational command of the language, though with occasional inaccuracies, inappropriateness and misunderstandings in some situations, generally handles complex language well and un understands detailed reasoning. Band 6, and this is for compet competent users, has generally effective command of the language despite some inaccuracies, inappropriateness, and misunderstandings, can use and understand fairly complex language, particularly in familiar situations. Band 5, and this is for modest users, has partial command of the language coping with overall meaning in most situations, though is likely to make many mistakes, should be able to handle basic communication in own field. Band 4 for limited user. Basic competence is limited to familiar situations, has frequent problems in understanding and expression, is not able to use complex language. Band 3, extremely limited user, conveys and understands only general meaning in very familiar situations. Frequent breakdowns in communication occur. Band 2, intermittent user, no real communication is possible except for the most basic information. Using isolated words or short formulae, in familiar situations and to meet immediate needs has great difficulty understanding spoken and written English. Band 1 and this is for non-user essentially has no ability to use the language beyond possibly a few isolated words. 
band 0 did not attempt the test. No accessible information provided at all. Bands required for admissions in academic institutions. 51% of test takers take IELTS to enter higher education in a foreign country. The IELTS minimum scores required vary from institution to institution and course to course. As a general rule, the top ranked universities in the United States tend to require a higher IELTS. As a general rule, the top ranked universities in the United States tend to require a higher IELTS band, typically 7.0. Most universities accept scores between 6 to 7 as being suitable for undergraduate study in English. IELTS is used by over 9,000 educational institutions worldwide. So this was all for today. Thanks for watching. For more informative videos, subscribe this channel, Torchbearer Institute.